Hey guys, it's Andrew from 510 Books. Here in my warehouse, it is Tuesday, February 8th, 2022. And I am done for the day in the warehouse. Productive day. My employee came and I worked uh, doing my thing while he did his thing. So double the effort is always awesome. Otherwise, I'd be doing it all on my own. <laughs> so that was great. Um, it, uh, oh, right. I wanted to talk about, so I'm going to share with you what I, you know, did today, accomplished today, what happened today, some cool stuff, and then talk about the idea of it takes, so it takes that, it takes, uh, a lot of, it takes a lot of work to build a business, but I'm saying that it, it takes, you have to take baby steps before, uh, before you can get to where you want to be, right? You have to do the little things that add up to become big things uh, before you can hit your goals. Or, you know, in the instance, uh, an example of, of growing your business from scratch is what I'm doing. Um, it takes time to figure things out. It takes time to organize things. It takes time to figure out marketing. It takes time to figure out the physical layout. It takes time to figure out how to sort or to keep organized my back stock it takes time you know all that stuff so this reminded me of or what reminded me of this made me think of this is all of the dvds i shared with you yesterday uh the stacks and the stacks of dvds kids dvds and the other dvds which i still have stacks of uh but i'll share with you anyway what i what i did today is that when you look at it as as a whole it looks sort of insurmountable and ridiculous and near to close impossible to deal with, right? Uh, when you take it as a whole, but when you break it up into pieces and you work on it piece by piece, little by little, you can get through it. And, you know, your ultimate goal in this instance is, or for, my, for me, is to sort everything out, take photographs, and then list it on eBay and sell it and ship it out, right? Um, but it's all a process. I mean, first of all, I had to go through all the boxes. I had to pick out everything that was good for my local sale, put that to the side, organize that. And then everything else had to go in piles. The kids, for instance, had to put them in different piles based upon the programming and, you know, all the Curious George together, all the Barbie together, all the Strawberry Shortcake together, all of the Disney together, all the Pixar, all the DreamWorks, etc. And then even after I did that, I had to go in there and organize it even more. So there's steps, right? There's steps to get to the, and I'm not there yet, to get to the final goal of getting rid of this stuff or the stuff that I'm keeping have it well organized. So when you look at it, you're like, you might think, well, how am I ever going to get through that? And then, you know, I look at my business or you or one might look at their business, which is what this channel's about and say, well, how am I going to go from just me or just my little, you know, bit of influence or my little, you know, uh, store in this instance and get to a much larger, uh, destination, um, or to grow it to a much bigger, um, bigger size and, and to have it be bigger than yourself. Right. And so <laughs> just looking at the DVDs as that, as an example, you know, uh, I'll get through it. Not today, probably not even tomorrow in terms of photographing everything. Possibly not until Thursday will I have photographed everything um, and have it ready for listing on eBay. But I've started that process and I'll get there and then I'll, you know, I won't list everything right away. It'll take time. All those CD lots, remember I talked to you, was talking to you about those last couple weeks. Uh, I still have five CD lots that are over there, organized, stored on the, sh on the, sh on the racks. Uh, I still have five of them that I haven't listed on eBay yet. I've taken the photographs, photographs from my computer. I just haven't gotten around to it. I slowly went through all the rest of them and listed some other stuff, some book lots and whatnot, um, and I still haven't finished them. So that's kind of what's going to happen, but I'm almost there. And a lot of them, you know, some of them have sold already, some of those CD lots. So it's the same thing with the DVD lots. Because once I finally actually get them photographed, then I'm going to put all the photos on my computer, and then I will slowly go through them as I have time. Um, and list them, right? Uh, sometimes I'll list a bunch of one. Sometimes I'll list it here and there. So it's kind of the same with growing your business, uh, with growing my business, is it just takes steps 
I mean, I've had this location. I had my first sale at this location, November or October or November of 2019. And I'm still, you know, working on growing it. Of course, the pandemic didn't help me or anybody in regards to growing their business. Well, that's not true. There's some businesses that did grow exponentially during the pandemic, but you get my point, um, especially in-person businesses, um, retail businesses. So I'm still fighting against that like every other business owner is and trying to you know grow their business. And so at some point I will reach you know those goals of having way more double, triple, quadruple the people that I have coming through here uh, when I'm open. Um, and that's the same thing with the DVDs, right? Like it just takes time. You've got to work on it, work on it. Uh, you know, think about some of the most successful business people uh, who built businesses. And typically, you know, it takes years to go from you know, having the idea, forming it, you know, building your company or um, forming your company, hiring people, etc. You know, to, from that to all the way to building a big company, uh, which is way beyond yourself. Uh, I think about, I would like to have lots of employees. I would like to employ people. I would like to grow beyond just this location. And I do have that standalone bookstore, those two locations, even beyond that, right? Um, so, but that takes time. <laughs> so think about it, whoever your, your favorite uh, entrepreneur is, uh, whoever started from scratch and built something up and, and made it big, you know, it can take years. It can take three years, five years, 10 years. It, it depends, right? But even if it takes three, five years, 10 years, but then you sell your company for, you know, tens of millions of dollars. I don't know if that's going to happen with my company. I'm just saying as an example, whatever that dollar amount is that you're happy with, or it just grows really big and it makes lots and lots of money and employs lots of people and does good things, etc. takes time. So let me share with you what I did today in regards to that. <laughs> Remember I had all those crazy stacks over here on the, on the table. And I still have some crazy stacks over there. So those were all kids DVDs and I organized them. And now here they are boiled down to their, uh, their groupings, their lots for eBay. I just have to photograph them. But they are all organized in various different lots. This is an entire lot here. This whole thing. Huge lot. So the last time I did a bunch of kids DVDs last year... My guess is it was earlier in the year. It's been a while. It's been a while. They did not sell that great. And my thought was because of Disney Plus and all the streaming services that it kind of killed the DVD market, the kids DVD market on eBay for reselling. So we'll see how it goes. Test it out again. But I'm sure I will make some money off of these. And uh, we'll see how long it takes to sell them. So those who need to be listed or photographed and then listed. And I started going through these CDs or DVDs. Uh, my first one is down here. I already weighed it, photographed it, etc. wrote it down so I know what it is. For when I go home to list it, this is another box waiting for another bunch of these. I already have one box. I'll probably do at least another, I don't know, three or so, I would imagine, if not more, if not four. Um, I also listed all of these, new, not listed, I, I photographed all of these DVDs here, just those two, those two piles, which are for... They're all new, new movies, sealed, factory sealed. Um, so that's where I am with all of that. Oh, I also photographed, which are down here, those two piles, which will be auctioned off our TV box sets, auctioned off uh, on eBay. And so the big thing, too, that I did is I finished sorting all of my DVDs from my back stock. So starting up here with um, 1980s and older, and it goes to the right and it goes back down and then it goes all the way to the bottom. And then I even have spillage out onto the floor and over there, TV box sets. So basically that's huge for me because I have it all organized, lots of back stock, easy to access. It's all labeled and organized and sorted. So that's awesome. Also, the other big thing that my employee did is he put together these two racks here. I told you that I would be getting two more CD racks and here they are. These are the two that he put together this morning and he's already filled them almost. And he's just shifting over everything and adding in this whole table of CDs will all go in, which will be, <sighs> wow, <laughs> 
500 to 600 CDs would be my guess, uh, assuming they all go out, because I believe there's around maybe 150 to 200 in each crate. So probably around 500 or so. So all those are going to be sprinkled throughout here in different genres. Um, and that's awesome, which means that he's relieved or removed a lot of that stuff from over here. Like that space up there is now free. And so all that's left are these one, two, three, four, five boxes, which he's going to probably dig into at least one or so tomorrow as well. Um, and so it's just slowly freeing up space over here. And once I, once I list and sell all of these DVDs and that'll be all be gone, um, freeing up space over here. So I'll probably put a rack over there. That's the idea so that everything will be off the floor and up in racks. Um, yeah. And much better organized. So this is all, what I'm seeing is for my business is this is all much, uh, adding to the organization going forward with my back stock and no, lo no longer allowing myself to get bogged down with so much excess inventory that is not organized and sorted through. Um, you know, I still have books to go through that, that I get from that guy every week. Oh, he's not coming this week. He's coming next week. Um, it brings me 10 boxes of books and I got a donation of about six boxes of books. So, you know, books are easier though to go through. But anyway, those are things that are starting to pile up. But that's what I mean is once I get through the DVDs and all that stuff, you know, I get to a point where as stuff comes in, I just deal with it immediately. And that's what this is going to be a part of, a huge part of for my business and just being better organized. So that's what I've been doing today. Um, and tomorrow he'll come and he'll finish this. And then I will work on some stuff that he will put out for, for back stock so that on Thursday he can restock um, uh, vinyl, video games, Blu-rays, DVDs, and where we can fit, wherever we can fit some books because <laughs> we do have some space. Uh, yeah. And then Friday will be on my sale for this week. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed. Um, Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content about uh, uh, about growing a business, uh, a small local business, as well as reselling books and media online, Amazon and eBay. I talk about all that kind of stuff. So if you enjoy that, please give it a subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.